Those first few shots were of Mage shooting Hornady's critical defense out of a Smith & Wesson J-frame. This is a 38 special round. It is not a plus P round. It is a standard velocity round. It has a 110 grain bullet and it has the FTX bullet which features this flex tip here which should help the bullet to expand and not get clogged and be a little bit more reliable. I've heard a lot of good things about Hornady's Critical Defense. I was overall pretty impressed with the Plus P version which I tested in the Zombie Max. So I'm excited about testing this guy here and seeing how it performs. We put this through a chronograph and fired five test shots. The average we received was 833 feet per second, which equates to a muzzle energy of 169 foot-pounds. Hornady advertises here on the box a muzzle energy of 110 feet per second. That equates to 250 foot-pounds of energy. So we were coming in well below Hornady's advertised velocities. This could be because they generally use a 4-inch barrel and we're using a 1 and 7 eighths. So let's take a shot at the ballistics gel and see how this performs. So let's take a look at the wound track. You can see it's starting there from the left. And you get a little bit of an expansion cavity that occurs around four and a quarter inches and lasts till six inches. So not very long. I think this is more energy and not the bullet expanding. You can carry these down here. Right around the 11 inch mark, you're getting a big plug of denim. Follow it down here and you can see the bullet passed entirely through. You can see the exit point here. There is a little bit of a cut where it looks like the bullet came pretty close and may have hit the board underneath it, however it didn't leave a mark. It then passed through those two milk jugs and I wasn't able to recover it unfortunately. My guess is that it did not expand. So my final thoughts here, uh, I'm not going to cut into this cavity that you see here. Uh, if I, I'm going to open it up later, and if I see anything, I might throw it on film. Probably not, though. So my final thoughts on Hornady's critical defense in the non-plus P load uh, is not, again, very favorable. I just don't think these rounds, these regular velocity rounds, as well as the two low recoil rounds I tested, have enough velocity to achieve expansion from a small revolver like you usually find in a J-frame or an LCR. I'm going to save the rest of this box and do this through a 3 or 4 inch revolver later on and see if that performs any better, but as of right now it won't be going into any of my carrier revolvers. It over penetrated 16 inches plus, plus 2 milk cartons and ended up god knows where in that field. Uh, so a lot of penetration there. This cavity is just more of it exposing a little bit of energy and I don't think it has anything to do with uh, pedals folding back and cutting into it. But again, I'll take a look and annotate if I am wrong. So thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more ammo updates and ballistics gel testing in the future. If you liked the video, please subscribe or hit the like button. If not, comment and let me know why. Thanks for watching.